Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike Chen. There are a lot of scientific laws out there. You've got Kepler's law of planetary motion, universal law of gravitation, Newton's laws of motion, you get the idea. And very few people can actually tell you exactly what those laws say. We remember the basics like what goes up must come down, or if you put something in extreme heat, it usually melts. And according to Mortal Kombat, the hardest thing you can break with your hand is a diamond. But there are substances on this planet that seem to challenge the very laws we set in place. So here are some of the craziest substances that seem to defy the law of physics. Number one, carbon nanotubes. This thing should have a letter S on its chest and live in a crystal fortress. Just looking at it, it doesn't seem like anything special. Little would you know that this is one of the strongest materials on Earth. Carbon nanotubes are true to their name, as they are an allotrope to carbon. An allotrope is a variation of an element with a different atomic structure, which can produce a wide array of substances from the same element. For example, another allotrope of carbon is a diamond. And what a diamond and carbon nanotubes both share in common is is a unique and uncanny strength. What really gives nanotubes this incredible force though is their sp2 bonds, which are more powerful than the diamond's sp3 bonds. Coming in next on this list, there is gallium. This is a very special element. It has a relatively low melting point at just above room temperature, which can be used in making specific alloys. This element is most often used in electronics, but what makes this element so distinct and interesting is that because of its low melting point, it's able to melt in a person's hand. So really it's the opposite of an M&M. Even more crazy, it will refreeze when it's removed from the person's palm and when it reaches its freezing point, the liquid metal can even supercool, which is when a substance is at its freezing point and stays in liquid form. For the third item on this list, we have sodium acetate. It can be used in heating pads and in the textile industry. However, the most notable quality about it can be demonstrated through an experiment. Add sodium acetate to crystals and water together and heat that solution over the hot plate until the crystal dissolves, then let it cool. That creates a super saturated solution. So even adding a few crystals to the liquid will cause this crazy reaction as crystallization occurs at an incredibly rapid rate. That is hot ice. Its name comes from the fact that it occurs due to an exothermic reaction, which releases energy. It's a contradiction within itself because ice is formed and yet the reaction releases heat. Next, Next, from paper cuts to broken bones, all these injuries are a pain to experience and even more of a pain to deal with. How nice would it be to just be able to automatically heal? Well, believe it or not, researchers have developed a polymer that can do just that. For number four, we have the appropriately named Terminator polymer. These self-healing polymers are able to manage such a feat by reforming any broken cross-linking bonds. This is of course difficult to create as you usually need some external stimulus in order to begin that self-healing process. But despite this, researchers were able to create a polymer that when sliced with a razor blade, displayed a 97% healing efficiency in two hours. Next, we all know that crazy smart kid in class that could memorize everything with that one person who for some random reason know all the numbers and pi, but apparently the skill of memorization is not just unique to people. Even metal has it as well. This is nitinol, an alloy of of nickel and titanium that has both shape memory and super elasticity. Basically what happens is that nitinol can be bent into a random shape when it's below its transformation temperature. That is the temperature that determines if nitinol can be bent or if it's going to go back to its original shape. However, when it's above the transformation temperature, nitinol reverts back to its original shape. This is a very unique set of characteristics that make this substance very beneficial when it's used as orthopedic implants and in less invasive medical devices. Next, let's talk about liquid glass. There are few inventions that can be considered truly revolutionary. Well, here's one of them. I mean, it sounds impossible. And yet, here is the simple but effective invention of a silicon dioxide ultra-thin antibacterial spray that can coat virtually anything. It is an extremely flexible material since it is so thin, only around 100 nanometers thick, and it repels dirt, water, bacteria, UV light, acids, and heat. And finally, this substance is something that outright defies a law of physics. Let me ask you guys, what happens when you compress something? It should get smaller, right? Well, not in this case. This is zinc cyanide and it does the exact opposite of what it's supposed to do. The bonds rearrange themselves completely. That is incredibly 
incredibly rare for these substances. And when researchers put the substance in a diamond anvil cell, that is the most popular device that researchers use to create very high pressure because it's basically a machine with two diamond anvils that will sandwich a substance in between them. Anyway, when the pressure is cranked up to an extremely high amount, the zinc cyanide was transformed into a porous structure. That's literally like if you tried to make a diamond from coal but ended up with a sponge. When I was writing this part of the story, the only images coming to my head was uh, that scene in the, one of the earlier Superman movies where he crushed a coal and crushed it into a diamond. I was thinking how funny it would be if he crushed it and out comes a sponge. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. See you later.